All right, guys, so this is the next episode. We're going to go ahead and jump right in. We're going to go to the Reveal app. We just had this uh, 2.0 camera set up in the last uh, section of the episodes to show you how to set up. As you can see, three pictures came through already. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this camera. We're going to go in. We're going to go to Cameras. This is in the Schoolhouse Road. This is the Pumpkin Patch camera. We're going to go to the Camera Settings. Camera mode. We're going to go to picture and video. So now it's going to send pictures and videos. What we're going to do with the image quality, we're going to go to, I like the 12 megapixel. You don't really need it any higher than that. Video size, 1080 FHD. Video length, I like to make it 15 seconds. Just because sometimes I miss some stuff in a 10 second. Multi shot is off, but you can do it in two pictures or three pictures at the same shot. I like to keep it off. So we're going to keep it off. Uh, Multi-shot interval, don't need that because we're not doing multi-shot. Um, night mode, minimal blur. Or you can go to a balance or maximum range. I'm going to go to minimal blur. Battery type is alkaline. Flash power is high. Delay is off. Work timer is off. SD loop is on. So SD loop, if you leave that on, that means if you get to the end of your SD card, the first pictures that this thing has taken will get deleted and the new ones will be added on. Uh, settings check. It's going to do a daily settings check or an instant settings check. I like to do an instant. That way it's all set and it does it at the same time. I usually leave the mode motion sensitivity at the same at whatever the default is, which is 7. You can go lower or higher. It's a 1 through 10, so 1 being the lowest, 10 being the highest. Uh, send time or send type is your timely. So you can look in here. And then there's a check-in picture that I was telling you about. If you want a check-in picture, you can turn it on. Now that'll send a check-in picture at this time that the settings are changed at 9.12 every night at the same day. I don't like the check-in picture, so I turn that off. And now you're going to apply all settings. Settings take up to 24 hours to apply. Would you like to continue? And you hit yes. So now what we'll do is when we go into the field, this was not sending videos before or being able to uh, get your HD on it. So now, when it takes a picture, if you look here in your gallery, see how when you pop the picture, it doesn't, you hit the HD, it'll only say for a picture. When you have the video working with the picture, it'll come up on here. When you click on the HD, it'll come up with two different settings. So I'll show you on another camera that does video which the back meadow does now if I click on the last picture here if I hit HD it'll pop up would you like an HD photo or would you like to request a video so once it's set up that way the video will be sent to you in the next check-in cycle for the camera the same as the, uh, the photo would have so now that 15 second video that I want it to take it's going to be able to I can request that video and it's the same thing as the pictures. If you go to HD and then you request HD photo, it'll say you're about to request one HD photo. There's a $5 charge for every 50 HD photos. Currently you use 33 of 50. Would you like to proceed? So now I can I still have 17 pictures before it will charge me another $5 for the month for the month. Now it is the same for videos. Videos also is 50 per $5 and you can send them to your phone. So now if I go here and go to my gallery, then I have videos set here. Now these are all the videos that I have requested already. And they get sent to my phone. And it keeps it in a separate file. Now if I go to my gallery again, HD photos are in a separate gallery as well. Go to my galleries again. I've got bucks from different properties that I've saved. Then I have farm bucks from 2021 that are saved. And then farm bucks 2023 that are saved. So this is a, you can make up all these uh, different galleries. So if I wanted to add, make a gallery, I can do this. Gallery name, I could say uh, permission farm. Now every picture that I want to save in that one, we'll put 23. I can create, and now if you go in here, permission farm, 
is now a category. So when I want to go is I can go here. Now I'll go back to my cameras. I'll go to my feed. Go to my cameras. Now I have a camera over on FitCal. If I wanted to change or take one of these pictures, so I don't have any bucks on this one. That's, that's not even a good one to try. Let's go to Nevez. Nevez Scrape. There's one buck that's in particular that I can put in there. This nice little six pointer that was there. So now what I can do is I can set Add to Gallery, Permission Farm, and also Nevis because that's where it is. Add to Selected Galleries, Success. So now all you have to do is go back to your home, go to your galleries, maybe go in your Permission Farm. Now that picture is saved. There's a couple other things that you can do in here. You can have your your maps of what your cameras are. Some of them have GPS locators on them. And then your account, which is your profile. That's me. What your plan is. So I have, uh, right now my plan is 1,750 pictures. I've requested 33 out of 50 photos, 47 out of 50 videos. Uh, extra add-on is another piece that we can go over another time. Now it says right here I have ca six cameras. I have them all on a monthly basis. There's all my cameras. So camera number seven is my SK that I don't have. That one will be added into this when that gets put on. So I did lose a camera I did forget from the last video. Um, I have a Reveal X original. Or no, sorry, a Reveal Tacticam Reveal camera, the original Tech event cam reveal cameras that came out uh, that uh, I had the batteries explode in and it actually destroyed the uh, the mainframe so I don't have that camera anymore so I only have seven so here's my six that I have that are in now shows you days remaining in your cycle so it's a 30 day cycle I have six days remaining and that's my starter is my monthly I could cancel the plan or I could start a new plan or if you start a yearly plan you can change your plan so that's how you set up your cameras there. Any questions with you guys? If you have any questions, give us a, uh, give us a message on uh, YouTube or go to CDO Archery on Facebook or you can message me myself, Shane Cunningham, on Facebook as well. And thank you for watching. Next, uh, we'll go over a couple cameras from Muddy. This is the Tacticam Reveal X 2.0 that we went over plus the app. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to CDO Archery and follow us for the next video.